They've won the last five straight overall in this series. They also control the tip. Well, Sooners won, of course, both times last season, but certainly helped out by the big guy, Blake Griffin, inside. And with him gone, the emphasis on the Sooners has really shifted from down low to out front, that three-point shooting we talked about. Just about all of the guys around the arc can hit the three-point shot. John mentioned Blake Griffin last year averaged 30 points, 20.5 rebounds in the two wins against the Red Raiders, and it's Crocker that gets it started for Oklahoma. Yeah, Tony Crocker really didn't have that good a shot. He had Dwayne Roberts' hand right in his face, but he had nothing to do with the ball at the free throw line and kind of put it up, and it went in. Crocker averaging 11.8. They have four players that average in double figures, but two of them not starting tonight. The miss early on there by Reese. Pretty good look inside though and Brad Reese just could not finish in Oklahoma in a in a man defense to start. Now with the Red Raiders let Brad Davis uh, or Cade Davis get inside. Yeah, Cade Davis right down the baseline a little bit quicker lineup in that uh, starting two coming right out of the gate. He calls him over settles him down and resets what he wants to do and it has been effective for this team in the past. Very very effective at, 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 at momentum shift and that's why he just doesn't want that to get away from his team. Darko Chodar was trying to drive the lane there or get around the corner and a foul is called inside on Ryan Wright this season but again uh, not really expected to be in there when this day started we thought it was going to be Tidy Gallon and uh, Willie Warren but we'll see uh, won't see Willie Warren oh nice move by Singletary to get his body up in the air and use it against the defender banking it off the glass boy and think back to that game against Iowa State it was Mike Singletary that had a couple of buckets early in the game for the Red Raiders and you get Mike Singletary in the flow and the Red Raider offense just seems to play so much better he really is a guy that is very streaky in his games and you're right if you can get him going early that's a good sign not such a great sign though that they're able to score inside as Crocker hits another one no a two out of, uh, of the three buckets by Oklahoma have come at point blank range Crocker and Davis have each been managed to get inside and score. Singletary feeling it early, doesn't get it to go, and here come the Sooners. Sooners are more of a half-court team normally, but will push the ball if they feel like they've got the opportunity. Yeah, and they'll, they'll work the outside. I mean, uh, the Pat Knight says that uh, the Sooners have not seen a shot that they don't like, so they're liable to shoot from anywhere at any time. Joe Darvich coming down with the rebound. He had a big rebounding game against Iowa State. And if you see big rebounds from Darko, that is also a good sign for this Red Raider team. Yeah, it means Oklahoma is not shooting the ball very well. And the hook shot that he likes so much, but not this time. Darko stayed after practice on Friday afternoon working on that shot. Everybody else had gone to the locker room, and Darko was still out by himself shooting. So really an emphasis there from Darko. Oklahoma now trying to shoot the outside. Normally you'll see most of their shots coming from outside the paint. Singletary quickly. Boy, he thought about holding it up and then thought he might have a chance to get to the rim, but couldn't. Got blocked off very nicely. Well, Kay Davis did a really good job against a more powerful guy in Mike Singletary, but just would not let him get turned and get off a very good shot. And the Sooners able to bring that ball down. Davis. From outside, came around the corner to try that shot. And boy, one of the things that uh, the coaches were telling us earlier is that this team, unlike a year ago, their three-point and their outside shots come so much quicker because they're not feeding it in and then trying to get it back out from a Griffin when everybody sags. So you're going to see the shot go up a lot quicker. That also a lot of times means the percentage isn't going to be as good. Reese hitting the shot back at the other end. Well, and that was a perfect example a moment ago from Kate Davis, and now the Sooners have turned the ball over. But Davis come and played exceptionally well against the Red Raiders, but they don't have that kind of player inside, and that emphasis has shifted long range. Robertson with the shot. Tyru, who has just checked in with the follow. David Tyru came in off the bench along with Nick O'Corey after that last time uh, that last uh, stoppage of play boy and that's great to see from Tyru because against Iowa State the other night he was suffering from the flu he only played about three minutes in the ball game and did absolutely nothing but obviously did not feel good at all and, and, and I didn't think he looked all that great in practice on Friday still coughing and hacking some but one more day 24 more hours he looks a lot better certainly got up in the air well for that 
follow, but gets called on the travel right there. And the ball to start out here. In the early going, only one offensive rebound between either of these teams, and that was David Tyrus put back to tie this ball game at 6 all. The big guy Gallon back in there for Oklahoma. And he and Tyru go after it, and you got to believe you know who's going to win that battle. Tyru firing away from outside the arc. And a correction, that was O'Corey, not uh, Tyru, that got that foul. Went over the back of him. Boy, the kick around right there by Oklahoma got them the quick shot, but they couldn't get it to fall. <laughs> and almost got the drive by Crocs many shots at the free throw line as their opponents have taken. They are not a team that puts you to the line very often, and they are a team that takes advantage when they're there. Red Raider philosophy, of course, is every game to, to make more attempts than the other team shoots, and with the motion offense, you get a lot of opportunity. Oh, oh Corey throws up the air ball there, and the Sooners, you can count that as a turnover. Yeah, they, they very quickly get the ball back down the floor, and that's part of what the Red Raiders have to work against today and not let, let the guys drive as well. Crocker following his own shot. The Red Raiders tap it out. Robertson was in there to knock it back out to Okori. You don't always have to pull down the ball yourself. If you can only get one hand on it, if you can tip it out to a teammate, that's just as effective. Just keep it alive. Boy, nice feed that time by Okori to Tyru. And He's got the last couple of buckets for the Red Raiders. Obviously, David Tyru feels much, much better than he did on Wednesday night against Iowa State. You just hope that that uh, spurt lasts a little while because probably going to get gassed a little earlier than normal. Boy, you see this. They try and set a pair of picks for Tiny Gallon to get him down inside. Darko get a good job of pushing him to the outside, but then Callen with that with that hook in the middle. Boy, and once he gets some steam going towards the paint, you better get out of his way. Yeah. Nice feed by Robert. Oh, the stuff by Gallon there. He's a guy that had 14 blocks coming in. That's his 15th of the season. Yeah, David Tyroo, not just an overwhelming physical type player and had it stuffed. Now Singletary returns the favor. And the outside shot by Davis up high is Crocker. They're going to set it back up. Well, you can see how this Oklahoma team loves the three-point shot. They, Boy. in fact, in the Big 12, they have more three-point makes per game than any other team. Yeah, they average about eight makes a ball game, and they take as many as 24 three-point attempts.